Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taiwo. Like I said in my last video, I will be showing you how you can import your CSV file or your flat file into your database in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio using the import flat file option. Uh, without wasting too much of your time, let's jump right into it. The first thing you need to do is to make sure your, S your SSMS is up and running and you're connected to your server and um, you have your databases in that server. Um, in my own case, I'll be importing into this um, sample student wellness um, database. So you right click on that destination database, you click on task and then you go all the way down to import flat file. If you can remember in the last video, we imported a CSV file using the import and export wizard option. But in this video, we'll be using this import flat file option. So you click on that and the window pops up. It shows you uh, the step that the system will take you through to import that CSV file or that flat file. If you don't want to see this page again, you can check this box, um, then click on next. The next uh, page is where you can specify uh, the input file. I look up my file, I select my file, and then I click on open to bring it in. Um, then I can change my na the name of my file um, that I'm trying to import. Uh, for this case, let's just say uh, student underscore data. Uh, oh, by the way, this data is a sample data um, that I downloaded over the internet. Uh, I click on next. It brings me to the preview data section where I can um, choose to use um, the rich data type detection if I want. But be mindful that any cells that have, um, you know, values that are not standard may be dropped. So for me, I don't need to do that. I click on next. The next step is to uh, modify columns if you need to or if you want to, where you can change your data type or you can make, uh, you know, to whatever you want. You can make any of the columns, the primary key, if you need to. And then you can also select um, the columns that you want to allow um, no values. In, my, in this case, I don't need to do anything. I just click on next. And then it shows me the summary um, of what's going to happen uh, in the process of um, importing this file. And then I click finish. As you can see, uh, my file is um, successfully imported into my database. I click on close. And if I need to see that data, I can just come to uh, my, uh, my database. I can click on refresh if I want, just to make sure I have that table or I can see that table. And then um, expand the, date, uh, the table section. There you go. That's the file I just imported. And then you can right click select top 1000 rows if you uh, need to do that and uh, as you can see i only have um, about 649 rows in this data file um, let's just if you know if you need to see all your everything in that data file should in case your data your file has more than 649 rows you can just select all you know, to see everything that is in that um, data file and then click on execute. Yeah. And then there you go. Everything looks good. Everything, lo everything looks intact. Like I said before, I have only 649 rows in this data file. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.